Right, lads, it's been about, what, 500 years since the fall of Byzantium? And I, th I think that's an appropriate amount of time to wait to revive it. So we're going to be going down this left-hand tree and eventually reviving the double-headed eagle, which means we need to make sure the fascists are in power. And that is not a reflection of my own personal politics. Thank you very much. So in order to do that, we are going to have to place the king under house arrest and uh, mess with these factions. Greece also has a lot of other stuff going on. Like, for example, they're hideously in debt. When are they not? That's a really low-hanging fruit there. Then we also got to sort our army so we can eventually fight the Turks. Right, if we manage our debt, we can get rid of the debt to the IFC, which gives us currently 50 15% consumer good factories. We can either pay that off or we can do some shenanigans. Shenanigans might be the way forwards. Uh, we are 7,000, 6,000, 7,000 guns in deficit. And it's not good. I swear to God, I thought I said the Venezuelans had won the election. Okay, we're good, don't worry. Venezuela is not meddling in Greek affairs yet. Right, we're gonna start by bringing home the exiled Republicans. And again, we're gonna take everything we can do to uh, befriend the fascists when they turn up. If I start paying off this debt, let's do it early. We haven't figured out what trains are. I mean, we're Greek, we're not idiots. All right, we're going to start down this economic tree, eventually trying to get this, because uh, I've been improving relations with the French, the UK, the Germans, and the Soviets, and that'll give us four free civilian factories and four free uh, military factories. What the hell is this? Oh, anything that changes the popularity of fascism is okay with me. And that is in the game, <laughs> not in real life. Open foreign subsidized factories. Uh, do you all like me enough for that? I believe you do. Basically, we're going to suffer economically for a little while until I fix everything. Oh, I've just got a text. And the Greek economic minister offering me a job. I mean, hey, I'm as, <laughs> I'm as qualified as they are. <laughs> right, more fascism. It's just so easy. It's such low-hanging fruit just to go after the Greeks with the debt situation, man. <laughs> so that number should go up to, what, 24, 22, if I've done this correctly. Bang, three factories. You'll love to see it. Give ourselves some free trade as well. Because we also have a nasty modifier that means changing these laws. So if I were to go up to free trade uh, manually, it would cost me 300. Because foreign monopolies and the Schlacht plan... Which I can get rid of the Shach plan, but I kind of want to keep it right now because it gives me consumer goods factories minus 10%. As well as uh, increased bonuses to civilian construction. Alright, the second Russian civil war. Good luck, lads. I don't know who to, but everyone. Just everyone involved. Let's have a good clean game out there. Alright, now we've done some sort of economy stuff. We are going to head down here. Start progressing towards the Magali idea. Which, uh, for those of you who don't know, means that I should get this section. I think instead of fighting the Turks on my own, I might ally with the English and French. Which means I'd have to give up Kurdistan and Armenia, respectively. But we'll see how strong we are at that point. Because it also could be fun just to fight it myself. I may be crushed horribly in this video, be cut short. But it could be fun. The only temptation I have is because this sort of region in Istanbul is actually kind of well suited, I, I would say, for encirclements. Because you saw just pincer around here. And yeah, you win. I'm going to stack those defense modifiers. I always enjoy stacking defense and uh, entrenchment. I always think those are two good, good, good things to do. All right, now to negotiate with the E and hopefully get the fascists in, in charge. There's a lot going on right now. Spain's got a civil war. Poland's got a civil war. The Soviets do. So the Mexicans. I don't know what's going on in China. They seem to be fighting all the Chinese and Japanese at the same time. Right, Anatolian refugees. Let us ally with the E to prep for war against the Turks. We're going to resurrect the Melgali idea. Right, we're not going to invite the Italians. I don't think that's necessary. We will invite the British and French, though. <laughs> Nobody has attended our convention. Oh, man. That's really funny. No one turned up. Oh, God, it's like a birthday party all over again. Just no one. No one wants to be my friend. All right. Greece declares war on Turkey. I am not ready for that, even in the slightest. Let's do some army focuses first. I, they, they would they would slaughter me right now. I don't even have the industry for it. Ah, there we go. There's a coup. And so the Byzantine fascists will form a government. That's what we want. National Union of Greece. <laughs> what a brilliant mustache that is. And that should unlock, yep, the double-headed eagle, provided we can beat the Turks, which adds a big, adds a big if, that one. Get Patrick over here to start building a uh, network. We also have to remember that uh, in fighting the Turks, we also have to fight the Romanians. Pretty sure they can't get through Bulgaria, so that should be fine. Uh, instead of Grand Battle Plan, we're going to switch over to Superior Firepower. I think that's just a better tree. Well, the Ukrainians have declared war on the Russians. That might go well for them. We'll see. All right, we're going to go ahead and mobilize the economy. And I think we're going to start prepping for war against the, uh, the Turks. I don't think we're the best place for it. I'm not going to have a video if I don't fight them, so that, that's also played into the uh, decision making here. The idea being, head sort of like here and here, cut those guys off, head there as well. There is a port here, the only issue. But we could at least kill a couple of divisions and then retreat back to this mountain province. Yeah, and that's the plan? Oh, the Armenians, I think. Can we ally them? Can we convince them to fight the, uh, the Turks? Alright, well, let's declare war, I suppose. This can only go well. Alright, we are at war with the Romanians. 
seems to be holding quite nicely. That's fine. Okay, naval invasion, but that's why we have these boys down there. That's a couple of different boys. Jesus. So please do not let that fall. Okay, there we go. That's that dealt with. All right, we're going to start working on our industry a little bit more because we need it to rejuvenate Athens. Okay, we are now at war with Czechoslovakia as well and also the French. Uh, so that sucks, but the French are also at war with the US. I don't know why. I have no idea why that is. <laughs> I, I could explain it to you. Why Alf Landon's gotten involved here, I, I do not know. Okay, the Yugoslavians are allied to whatever the hell's going on over here. And I have, well, four divisions to try and make something happen there. Okay, they're going to repeatedly attack me over here. That's fine, because we are going to try and push them out here. If we can. Nope, not risking it. Fortunately, we have, like, really good defensive stats. So we should be okay. Can't pay off my debt anymore, so I think all of those debt payments were kind of useless. All right, nice. That's that sorted. All right, the Turkish invasion's been dealt with. Ooh, I do not like that. So we have sort of killed a lot more than we've lost here. But I don't know if that's going to be enough to hold. I'm going to pull out a unit here and send them over to this front. Because I really think we need them. Like desperately. Jesus Christ. I'm actually going to risk uh, getting rid of the division chucking this one over here. There's no way I can sustain this. My God. Defense plus 10%. No, that helps. Just going to keep spitting out divisions as fast as I bloody can. Oh no, Luxembourg. <laughs> I'm terrified. If you could win Germany, that would be stunning. Okay, they've stopped attacking me. Okay, right, let's build up some entrenchment. Then let's build for a little bit. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, that was that was very dicey. What are the war stats right now? We've lost about 10,000 men. And everyone else has lost uh, a lot of men. Killed about 7,000 uh, Czechs. About, about 60,000 Turks. About 15,000 like, Yugoslavians. We've done a decent job. Okay, now focus on defense. Super useful. We can't push. We could never push. But now we're doing okay. This is sort of the risk you run when you play without historical uh, AI on. Uh, Danzig is currently still demilitarized, for example. Ah, that's a nice and stuff one there. Go on. Go on, Germany. Breakthrough. Oh, no. That's not what you want to see. Okay, I'm going to attempt something here. This could be very dumb indeed. If I can force them out the port here. I feel like I'm doing more damage than I'm taking, at least. I say immediately the bubble turns red. Because if I can just sort of head here and here... We're having a good time. All right, let's get our spare guy to pin these guys. Come on, buddy. And three, and four. Just get in, get in. Go, 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 go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, I need you to pin that lot. Somehow you've made it there. I don't understand how that's happened. Uh, I don't know what's going on over there in the in the west. I don't know what you are. Vada Vanov. I don't know what you are. Come on. We can at least get a couple of them there. There we go. Come on, buddies. Okay, nice. Just murder them. Murder them. Murder them all. Come on. Just go ahead and murder them. Just in your own time. Okay. Make sure we don't actually lose this. All right. That has kind of helped the supply issue slightly. Let's pull out of here. Because he's going to come in. Watch. If I pull out. Yep, there we go. Just pin him. We'll pull out of Istanbul because we don't need it anymore. Actually, we do need to kind of hold these territories here. There we go. They're encircled. We now just need to hold and, and attack here. And we should be absolutely fine. Couple more divisions destroyed. Entren entrenchment speed and max entrenchment sounds good for me because that's kind of what we do. I'm gonna now go ahead and revive the double headed eagle. I'm gonna grab war economy. God, the GP is horrible. Uh, is there anything I can do about that? They fascism support. That'll oh, help. Okay, we are murdering them. We I don't know if we'll hold over here. Just kill them faster. It's gonna be close. There we go. He's dead. Okay, right. That's that's very important. Okay. Right. Now we're gonna pull out infantry expert. Thank you very much. Love that trait. And we're going to make a fallback line here and assign everyone to it. Not you guys. <laughs> Not you guys. <laughs> Bear in mind, I am fine with sort of like a lot of my... Yeah, that's, that was almost a horrible mistake. I'm fine with a lot of my units sort of trapped here. Can I take that, do you think? Okay. And I'm thinking if we mad rush for Istanbul, we might be able to get it. And you, if I fail here, this could go very poorly indeed. Go, 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 go. Pin. Come on, come on. Take it, 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 take it. Go on, go on. Just do it. Just do it. All right. This is a risk, but I think I can encircle a bunch of people here. If I take this, surely you'll, like, you do not have the... <gasps> Why would you abandon it? Why would you abandon it? Go, 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 go. I mean, yeah, it worked. Vada Banavia is taken. Uh, we've also... Unfortunately, we didn't take Istanbul. We took Istanbul, but didn't do too much. Uh, I need you to start spreading around a little bit, lads. Okay. You lot of traps. Let's kill you. Hold here and hold here. 
I know a lot of people don't like when I use uh, actual like AI based lines here, but I'm afraid I'm not that good of a player. I might have just unleash a flood into my nation. This could have been a horrible, horrible mistake. Yeah, there's no way we're getting cut off there. Thank you very much. All right, retreat, retreat, retreat. Here we revive the double headed eagle. Uh, just in time for, well, horrible, horrible things to happen. Okay, we have killed those divisions. Uh, I'm going to need to start shifting some more men over to this front. I should have left it as is because uh, I might have given up very, very nicely uh, defensible territory. Stop attacking. Just hold. Everyone hold. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's breaking. Everything's breaking. I need more guns. I need as many guns as, as physically possible. Okay, we're going to pull out of that. No, hold. Just hold. Just hold. Just hold. Okay, we should be fine now. Okay, I'm tempted to do the exact same thing. You pull out. Hold there. But this time with few, few divisions. I have fewer divisions on the Turkish front than I do any than this stupid, like, Balkan front. Again, the Germans really not doing, doing too much to break through on uh, over there. Yeah, we just don't have the artillery to go and change this attack, do we? Okay. Uh, reset. We're going to add in a, another infantry here. Get that 20. Oh, God. I'm going to try and sneak around, maybe. I'm just assuming everything's, yeah. I'm just assuming everything's fine on this front. I'm just lucky they haven't tried a naval invasion again, because that would go poorly. All right, we're going to go integrate the support, because I don't have a choice. Am I able to take that, do you think? Surely not, right? All right, I would love to push them out of this pocket. It just shortens the front line a little bit, and that's kind of necessary for us right now. Yeah, I'm not getting away with that. Let them out a little bit again. Do I need trains? I need, I need more trains. <laughs> so we're starting to run out of guns, so we need to hold for a little while. Greater Portugal's annex. What? Oh, God, it's all brown over there. All right, Germany, mate, I'd... you're not involved. I thought you were involved in this Balkan War. It's not. You're, you're just not. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's join your faction. And then I can put my war with the... Uh... You wouldn't join my war? Surely that puts you at war with, like... Who am I at war with? I'm not at war with these guys. It says I'm not at war with Serbia. I am at war with Serbia. I don't know what Serbia is. <laughs> investment schemes. Yeah, I don't I don't think... You know what? Screw it. We're going to try and do some investment schemes whilst we're in the middle of a war. The issue I have is I have no sort of supplies at all, and uh, no resources and no ability to get those resources. I should probably bring my mountaineers to the other front, or to this front. Why there are Turks on this line, I have no, no clue. Okay, they're attacking. Hungary joined the German... My war... Okay, good. I thought I was a war hungry then for a second. All right, let's see if we push out these Turks. We can. All right, keep going, keep going. Some of you need to stay. The rest of you go. Go around so we can take out this tank. Or just do the exact same thing we did before. Which, if I recall, was a mistake. So I'm going to ignore that fact. Okay, nice. Yep, they are gone. The other front is kind of collapsing, actually. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Right, spread out a little bit, lads. Come on, just clean these guys up, please. We're dying for supply. That's that front that would... That should hopefully help our supplies, I think. Yep, we just need to fix this supply hub. It'd be lovely if we do that uh, as, as quickly as possible. How's this front doing? Okay, we're fine on that front. And right, let's bolster the slash and plan. Ah, we've been resupplied. Brilliant. And I think we've run out of guns. We have by a significant margin. So we should probably stop attacking. I mean, I will do once this is done. Wait. Can I just... Ah, I can just push. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Why would we not do that? Go, get to Belgrade. Go! Oh. I'm really not sure how you're this good at defending. I mean, I understand you're Serbian, and that's, this is sort of what you spend your life prepping for. But still, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous. I do not want to open up a front with the Romanians, I've realized. This is a terrible idea. I mean, does, do you want to get involved? German Czechos vacuum war. I know I can get involved in the German Czechos vacuum war. For some reason, I can't. Okay, the Germans are at war with this lot. So why are you not pushing? Oh, they are now. Okay, there's a circle where we can. I don't know what's going on. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, the entire army's been encircled. How the hell did that happen? This is bad. This is horrible. This is horrible. This is horrible. Just cut them off. Just cut everyone off. Get rid of every front line that isn't to defend. I don't understand how they did that. Uh-oh, I'm kind of close to capitulation. This is bad. Okay, we've managed to get some of the boys out. I don't know how we're still alive at this point. <laughs> okay, now the Turks control my territory. This is not good. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a problem. Bosnia is capitulated. That's nice. I, 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 I kind of have other issues right now. Concerns, uh, queries, and more. <laughs> now, I don't know who that is. The other French own it? I, I don't get it. And the unit's dead. Oh my god, we just about got there. Come on, just cut them off. Cut them off. Okay. <laughs> I think I might be able to be controlling the situation now. All right. Jesus Christ. This could have been really bad. I think I almost capitulated a couple of times there. Where the hell is that naval invasion? In West Germany. Why would I care about that? To be fair, I think this is where most of the Turkish troops are. All right, let's cut off everyone here. Let's cut them all off. There we go. This is what we want. This was the big plan. 
tempt the Turks out with a, with a tempting target and then destroy them and the French, apparently. Okay, we have got control of our country now. <laughs> that was so close. Okay, illegally default on our debt. Why would I do... But, like, I'm, I only had one more thing. Invite politicians for investment talks. All right, let's do that. Revive Byzantium. We need all Greek states and all Turkish states. Okay, we can do that. Let's take back our land, boys. I like how the Germans and the English just fought, the British just fighting our land. I'm just surprised the East held out. Okay, the Germans haven't invested. Well, that sucks. I've not been doing national focuses because I've been too focused on uh, on winning this stupid war. I swear to God, it's not meant to be this tricky. I think I just made it like a lot harder for myself than it had to be. Okay, we're missing a lot of infantry equipment. So I need to rest after this. There we go. And thank you for the guns. I really, really desperately need them. That's them dealt with. Now, let's go make a front line over here. And let's chill. Why are you fighting them in Germany? You just... Well, kid, watch. My land. <laughs> okay, right. I don't need these trains anymore. I need guns. I need lots of them. Germans have decided to vest again. I understand, but it's annoying. Let's see if we can push to, the, uh, to Istanbul again. Do that old chestnut. I'm pretty sure. How many have we killed now? So we've lost 93,000. Uh, but we have killed uh, about 10,000 of you. We've killed about... 84,000 Serbians. The Serbians have lost 300,000 troops, Jesus. And we've killed about 400,000 uh, Turks. So we've done quite well. We've equipped ourselves nicely. So are we able to cross the strait? I honestly doubt it. We can try. We'll just throw ourselves against it. Oh, we might We might do here. It might happen. Remember what I said I was going to chill? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of trying to cross the strait here. I think it's going to tease me with like 98, 99s. I'm going to force attack. Yep, nice. That'll do it. Okay, let's get it going. Go, 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 go. All right, I've gone aggressive. I think we can capitulate them here. Surely they don't have that many troops. I've killed so many. If I just spread them thin, surely they don't have the troops to keep up. Yes, lads, here it is. It's probably this was scuffed way to do this, but we're doing it. Look at it. It's beautiful. Push, boys, for Byzantium. They've just got no one left. Uh, I'm just going to hope Germany deals with that. I'm going to have a, probably a repeat of the previous situation, but that's okay. Go, go. How close is the capitulation? Most of the way there. Okay, we have been cut off, but that should be fine. There we go. Just sort of making lots of little pockets. I'd like to fight them as little as possible, to be honest. Okay, we're now pushing into Syria. Right, I need them to capitulate before this pocket breaks out. Because I have kind of just left some, some guys. No, not again. Okay, do I have a land border with the German? Right, I may well do. If I do, I can go over to trade. German, 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 right? Yes, I can. Okay, brilliant. That'll help us quite significantly. <laughs> oh, no. They're taking me out of the east, in the west. Here we go. It has to be. It has to be. It's done. They're done. All right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Get back, boys. Get back immediately. I'll have like a token force here just to sort of take the coast and stuff. But we need to get back before we capitulate. <laughs> the English trying to desperately protect these areas, but they're not allowed to because I'm not at war with them. Oh, it should be Syria done. All right, let's push back in. Take back our lands. Once more. God, the Greek homelands are just dangled like a fruit. They just use this bait every time and it works so well. Okay, but we have a deficit of 10,000 guns. I think most of that is from uh, Garrison. I can use my agents to resistance. Oh, did you take Paris? Oh, well, the, the Italians did. Oh, screw it. We're going to illegally default on our debt. I was only 25 away, but it is what it is. Now, do you think the Jones would give you Garrison support? Nope, because they don't have enough manpower. Would you? No. Nope. Anyone else? Hungry, garrison sport? No? Alright. I see how it is. Uh, in fact, yeah, yes. you lot, I kind of need you to take back my islands if that's right. Alright, we've capitulated Kosovo. How many guns are we in deficit now? Still 10,000. But ladies and gentlemen, we can go ahead and revive Byzantium. Bang. Look how beautiful. It's so pretty. Rise of the Byzantine Empire. Let the reconquest begin. Okay, so that gives us cause on the Turkish provinces. Uh, resistance wise, I think that should hopefully get rid of it because we have cause on it. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, we have a lot of factories and we, we need guns. I kind of want to take out Bulgaria. This will put me in war with uh, the UK, though, so maybe not. Let's take out the Serbians. All right, we don't need as nearly as many guns now. I think that's because the resistance situation will have been, yeah, somewhat fixed. Okay, so we just need to brew our resistance in these areas. That's a, that's a, lot, of, that's a lot of resistance. All right, we can now go ahead and do this Nimakamanin, <laughs> which gives us stability, war support. Uh, and I think it alters the Martyrs one. Where is the Martyrs one? Here we go. Martyrs of the Anatolian Catastrophe. Basically, it changes that to the Begali Idea Triumphant, which is good. What? what? 
Okay, something happened. Uh, well, obviously we want all of our Turkish states. But we did a fair amount in terms of war participation. So that's why we're getting a decent amount of stuff here. And yeah, we'll happily take all the way up this coast. I'll pass once. But want any other stuff? I don't really care about Thunder Cross Latvia. I'll puppet them, but I don't have the score for that. You can puppet the Nation Francaise. I don't know where they are, but I'll do that. Puppet them. All right, that's the Treaty of Calais. I'm actually no longer at war. I'm at peace. <laughs> Wait, I think we're with you. Interesting. Okay. So who am I at war with now? Is it just, yeah, just the Polish-Lithuanian war on the Byzantine government? So apparently they declared war on us. And resistance is going down now. <laughs> well, in some areas, in others. Okay, well, now we're all with, uh, well, uh, the UK. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and deal with that. Yeah, I'm not going to give you manpower, man. I kind of need it myself. I'm going to go martial law in these areas. Because I have the manpower for it. All right, let's go to war with Iraq. Uh, why am I going to war with Iraq? Uh, I, I don't know. I felt like it. That's literally the only reason. I could say oil, I suppose. It would be strictly accurate. It was just because I wanted to. Yeah, I want to push for Baghdad, please. Shouldn't take us too long. Like that, putting up a bit more stiff resistance than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm on. Just go to sleep, Iraq. It's okay. It'll be okay. Just gonna cut off the British troops over here. And there goes Iraq. All right, the die is cast. Gives us an extra research yeah, slot. Yes. Cutting off the British division. That's always lovely. Do you think they rushed for Cairo? Do you think they're defending the Suez? They're not defending the Suez, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> okay, we are now in control of the Suez Canal. Which means I'm pretty sure that means that the British are now locked off from the Med because they lost Gibraltar. Yeah, brilliant. We've got tons of infantry equipment now. How's our resistance and compliance and stuff? It should be going down. It is. That's the first time I've ever successfully managed my resistance. Uh, if we just push to this part here, uh, that yeah, should be there. the English done. We've basically just gotten rid of the English in North Africa. We've been a shockingly effective fighting force. Okay, we are going to be fighting in Africa now, so supply issues might be a tad of an issue. Okay, come on, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Oh, for God's sake. I do kind of just want to push the, uh, the British out of Africa, because I think it'd be quite funny. The Byzantines come marching south. There you go. Let's do that. I mean, Egypt was an imperial province, so hey, well, that. Bay Mussolini is absolutely livid. We we reclaimed Byzantium. What with his ideas of Rome and everything, he's not cool. going to be happy, Bunny. By the way, I've done all this without tanks, without an army, basically. <laughs> like, hey, a bit of it fortunate. Uh, we're at war with America, right? Yeah. Interesting. We're not capitulating them anytime soon. Uh, finally, restore the Byzantine Empire missions. That's what I want to finish on. Hey, I think that's enough that. of that shenanigans in Africa. Everyone else can deal with that. Fine, I'm just going to go and sort out this. Because for some reason, the Germans haven't been able to capitulate the, the Poles this entire time. They've been fighting to the nail. Just going to go ahead and attack. I and mean, how hard could it be? Wait, what? The Russians are imperial again. Well, so are the Spanish. So I, there's a lot going on. All right, let's go to Warsaw. The way's open. Let's point out that if uh, the Germans had managed to defeat the Poles on their own, I wouldn't have to be fighting anyone. I'd be at peace. What? This D D really? D-Day? This is a really cursed uh, version of Germany. All right, boys, let's not get cut off by the Americans, please. Let's be a little bit smart about this. Just going to go around and circling Americans wherever possible. How close is the capitulation? Let's check. Eh, about halfway. Byzantine Themats. I think I can start taking the decisions pretty soon. Or at least have the option to. I do want to pitch like this stop first. Uh, Byzantines turn up and they just start marching through Poland. We did better than the Byzantines ever did. All right, we've cut off a significant portion of the Polish army. There we go. They're done. All right, so look at these decisions. Triumph for the Balkans. I'd need, uh, I need to fight Germany for that. Triumph for Italy. Basically fight Italy. Triumph for the Levant. I need Cyprus. I can probably get Cyprus now. But I want to show you what it does. In the meantime, let's just move this, this lot. All right, let's just uh, trigger this naval invasion. Quickly nip into Cyprus. There you go. Because we cut off British access to the uh, meds, so it doesn't really matter. All right, brilliant. And then what we can go ahead and do is triumph for the Levant, which gives us cause in all those places. Does that get rid of the resistance? I think it does. It does. Excellent. And then we just need uh, Egypt and Tunis, which means basically fighting uh, the Italians a bunch. Uh, for the Balkans, we'd need, well, basically just the rest of the Balkans. So if I wanted to, I mean, Germany's not doing so hot right now. I could probably backstab them. <laughs> I mean, first, I'd have to capitulate the UK and, and the US and, and that sort of stuff. And that's just a bit long. So I think that's where we'll leave it for today. I did what I set out to do. We uh, we are the Byzantines. Slightly scuffed, but I mean, hey, it worked. I think it was more sort of quality of troop than quantity. Uh, and I think we got a little bit lucky at times. To be. In any case, lads, uh, the sort of last Heart Spine 4 uh, video I did had sort of an upswell of support. That's why I'm doing it again. So if you want to see more, uh, there's lots of different nations we could form. Potentially, we could go for like Austria-Hungary next. That could be fun. Or there's also mods, which also could be fun. 
In any case, lads, if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe and leave any ideas in the comments down below. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.